Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Had a great productive morning, went on a nice long walk, I cleaned up, I got ready for the day, and I got my video uploaded, so I'm feeling very good. We have a very fun day in store today. We are doing our monthly family cooking, and I'm so excited because as you can tell by the title, today is Korean fried cheese. I've had it once um, in New York City at the place called OK Dog, I believe it was called, and it was amazing, and I've seen people make them in YouTube videos at home. Seems fairly simple, but you never know. So I'm excited to try it out. So that's what we're gonna be making today. Also, let's not mind my nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow morning. They are due, past due actually. Here's my little outfit of the day. My top is this little cami silk top from Lily Silk. And then my jeans are super old from Forever 21. Today's video is actually sponsored by Lily Silk. So thank you so much for working with me and sponsoring today's video. They have so many different types of quality silk products, including blouses, they have pillowcases, bedding, pajama sets, and so much more. First things first, the packaging is adorable. It all came in these little floral boxes. I just thought that the branding was really cute and I like packaging, so I wanted to share that with you guys. If you didn't already know, Mulberry Silk has so many benefits for your skin and your hair. It is so soft, it is so breathable, and it's also anti-aging. I have this top that I'm wearing right now and I have a few other little clothing pieces but I also wanted to tell you guys about the pillowcases. I've been sleeping with these for the last few days and been enjoying them so much. It's so different than cotton. Silk pillowcases actually prevent wrinkles because they have less resistance than cotton, which is like, who wouldn't want that? It also helps your skin retain moisture, so it's great when you put on your skincare products at night to sleep on silk. One of my favorite benefits of the pillowcases is that it reduces frizz and breakage in your hair. You'll wake up with your hair just feeling better, less frizzy, less tangled. Also, if you suffer from allergies these will be great for you because it's a natural mold and dust repellent and one of the best things that is great for both sleeping with the pillowcase and I like it for the clothing too is it's actually a natural temperature regulator so you won't get too cold or too hot it always stays the perfect temperature here's a little close-up of the silk I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera but so super soft you can imagine what it feels like to sleep on. It's just so soothing and smooth. I'm obsessed. Bella also clearly is too because I'm trying to show you guys these products right here, but she's laying on them. Can I have these? Okay. I'll start with these. <laughs> so these are their wireless silk bras. I have one in nude and one in black. And oh my God, when I tell you guys I love these, I love these. <laughs> I just brought these on our recent trip to Texas and I wore them whenever it like fit with the straps of my shirt. They are so comfortable. They hold the girls up nice and well. These are a one size fits all, but they are super stretchy and so soft. I'm just obsessed with the material of these. So the strap lining is 95% silk and 5% spandex. So you get that like soft feel, but you also get that like stretchy comfort. So I love these it's very flattering and supportive for not having like any like underwire or major structure they're very seamless so it's nice that it gives you support can i have this please 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 okay Lastly, we've got this oversized button-up. I got this in a size large. It is white, and it literally is just a simple button-up. It's got a pocket. Such nice quality, and I cannot wait. I actually brought this to Texas, to be honest, but it was way too hot there. <laughs> I just wanted to wear a tank top, but here in New York, the weather is perfect for this to layer on like a summer night. It gets a little bit more chilly at night, and I can't wait because this is gonna look so good over anything. It's kind of like a cardigan for the summer, you know? I'm gonna wear this over bathing suits, over dresses, shorts, and a tank top like 
This is so versatile. You can tie it around your waist, whatever. It's just a really great, simple piece to have in your wardrobe, and I'm very excited to wear it. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, again, there are so many benefits. I will have all the links that you need down in the description below. And thanks again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Okay, are we excited, everyone? We are gonna prepare for this cooking night. I have not cooked. I mean, I've been cooking, of course, but I haven't cooked like a fun new recipe in a long time. So I'm very excited. Back to the roots, you know? We've got more traveling coming up very soon too. So we're gonna squeeze in some cooking content for you guys. First things first, because we have guests coming, I'm gonna chom chom the chairs. Actually, Bailey got up. Okay, perfect. We're gonna chom chom the pet hair off of these chairs so that when people sit, they don't get animal hair. See how amazing? They don't get animal hair all over their butt or back. <laughs> Check it out, ready? Look at that. That's a Bailey. He's been sitting here soaking in the sun all day. <laughs> Wait, no, not, not again. We need to use this chair. When you're the host, you can wear slippers, right? That's the rule. <laughs> Okay, chairs are cleaned. I wiped down the table. I wiped down this island and now we can get to cooking. Well, first I'm going to prep the cheese board that I'm going to make. We're having lots of cheese today. Zane just went and got rosemary from the garden, make it look nice and pretty on the board. We've also got grapes, which is very convenient. So I can make a nice little, nice little board. Thank you. You're bad. Go. Did you know what it was or did you read the label? Uh, I read the label. <laughs> So for appetizer, we're gonna do a cheese board. We've got crackers and um, I got like a, um, I took it out already. Prosciutto, copa, and salami. Copa? Yeah. Prosciutto, copa, and salami. Little fancy meats. And then I went really boring and did pre-sliced cheese from Lidl. <laughs> I was gonna do the blocks and I'm like, you know what? This sounds very simple. And then we're gonna put some sprigs of rosemary for decor and little like groups of grapes and make it look pretty. You'll never know that it's a pre-made tray from Lidl unless I told you. I mean, you might, I don't know, whatever. And then the other appetizer that we're gonna do is scallion pancakes, which you guys have seen me make before. Make before? Hello? They're very simple and they're very delicious and Zane's family has not had them yet. I don't even think they've actually had them from a restaurant, let alone made from me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't think they've ever had them at all. I could be lying, but I know they've never had mine. So we're gonna make those, and then when they get here, then we all cook the Korean fried cheese together. I usually go way too crazy when we do these cooking things, and I buy way too many chips and dips and things like that. So I tried to keep it very simple. Cheese board, scally pancakes, and then the Korean fried cheese, and that's it. I always get nervous that it's not enough, but I eat for five men, and I have to remember that not everybody does. I'm gonna go with the large board because I don't want to start making it on my small wood board and then it doesn't fit So we'll use that for something else that we need If we even need it. This is not gonna be my best work, but we'll try to make it look decent These pieces of cheese actually come in like long pieces So I would like to cut them in half so that they're like bite size. So I'm gonna go for that I stopped at Leo this morning and grabbed a few things. So this is all super fresh yeah, much better. This is pepper jack. Try to make it look pretty. I think doing charcuterie boards is so fun. I feel like it's so fun to try and make it look nice. And you can just like have fun with it and put whatever on there. Pepper jack, Kobe jack, Swiss, and mild cheddar. Beautiful. We're doing good. Nobody's gonna know. Next, we're gonna do the meat. Make sure Zane's not gonna die. We're good. I would argue that that looks kind of nice already, but I feel like we should fold. Do a little folding action in the center here. Oh, what if I do it in a circle? Like a flower. Oh wait, cute. It's not perfect, but it's cute. Oh, and I could put a grape in the middle. <laughs> you guys gotta see this. You're too far away for the good stuff. Here we go. A little flower, and then you put a grape in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Then I think I'm just gonna lay this salami here. Then we've got a few pieces of prosciutto. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it very messy because prosciutto 
is not pretty to begin with. Okay, now here's where we're gonna make it look a little pretty. I'm gonna put a few little sprigs of grapes like that, and then we'll stick in some rosemary and make it look pretty. Not too shabby. She looks full. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> Flower, it's funny, right? <laughs> okay, now. I just put that in the fridge for now. For the scallion pancakes, I just realized when I was watching the video that I used last time that you're supposed to leave the dough for 30 minutes. So we're gonna make the dough very quickly so that we can let it sit for a little while. The dough is literally just flour and some warm water. He says in the video, I'll put the video down below that I use. He says in the video if like 10 is boiling, like 7.5. So I'm gonna get some hot water and I'm gonna actually triple the recipe. One of his recipes makes three scallion pancakes, which is like not that many, and I wanna make a lot. So for one recipe, it's one cup of flour and then a half a cup of hot water and then more flour for like kneading the dough and stuff. And that makes three scallion pancakes. So we want, want a lot of scallion pancakes. So maybe we'll do four cups of flour because they're very thin and little. Like you can go through a lot of them. Let me think. Just to be safe, we're gonna quadruple the recipe. So that means it would be four cups of flour and two cups of hot water. One cup of flour, two cups of flour, three cups of flour, four cups of flour. I'm gonna get my water running to hot. Two cups of hot water, you're gonna use chopsticks and you just pour it in very slowly so that the flour has a chance to kind of like absorb the water and that's it. He actually says you wanna go in one direction the whole time. So I'm gonna keep going this way and pour it in. Okay, so he says in his video, if it's too like moist, you want your hands to come out clean after you knead it and it's definitely not there right now. So you add a little bit more flour at a time. He said it's not gonna hurt the dough. You just wanna get the right consistency. I just sit it out on the counter because you don't need to refrigerate it, so it's just gonna sit like this. In the meantime, we're gonna cut up all the scallions, put them in a bowl, and we're gonna prep all the ingredients to make the Korean fried cheese, and then start cooking. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Scallions are cut up. My eyes are burning a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bottoms and plant them outside in the garden. I did forget to mention, by the way, the recipe that we're using for the Korean fried cheese is by Remy. If you're not familiar, she's a YouTuber and um, she has a recipe for it. So that's the one we're gonna be using. I'll have that down below as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients for that out. Talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Try to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Like twice, maybe three times. You've never um, had I've, them before? No. At like takeout? Either? No. Mom, it tastes like. Oh, uh, it's no profit. Oh, what? It tastes it is like, like a profit. Kind of. Yeah. Behind you. Look how funny. Was it easy to get them on there? Uh, yeah. Behind you. Uh -oh. So just remember that recipe is only for. So what? Uh, six? That's only for six of them. So how many? I ate one of the string cheeses the other day. So six? <laughs> we picked 12. Okay, so just double it for now. Okay. I'm gonna test it right now. I think it tastes good. You want more spice? I don't know what it needs for. I think the acidity's like... there. I think the sodium levels are there. Yeah, I might gotta try it last least. time. I gotta say. You wanna make it sweet? Mm. This sauce is good. Mmm. Trust me. You like it? Yeah. I think mean, I prefer normal soy sauce, but I respect it. You're addicted to soy sauce, that's why. Maybe I just understand the flavor profile. Oh, right. That one. 
maybe. Yeah, baby. Mark should not cut this up. She flattens out one piece, puts some oil, then she rubs it in, and she puts some salt, and she puts scallions, and then I think she rolls it up and then flattens it out again. Is that what you're doing? I have to find out. I'm trying to watch. I'm trying to learn. Chef is having work right mm. now. That one's better? Mm. Wait, this next one, I put more salt and more Wait, is that in. the same batch? Yeah, the one that you just had. I'm not the one I didn't have this one. Oh. Come on, take a whole slice. Are you watching? Are you watching? Are you watching? So she rolls it. Listen, I've been trying to peep you. Oh, you roll it and then you flatten it again? Mm -hmm. And she rolls it and she folds it up the other way now. I think that's something. Look at that. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I got a little tail underneath. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm glad you learned. What did you guys Uh, A guy on YouTube. <laughs> that's so good. It is. It reminds me of like paradas. Yeah. Well, parada is flour and water. Isn't that the base of the dough? But just, I guess because of the oil, the thickness, like the flaky. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Does it not say one teaspoon of salt right there? Oh my god. I, I put three instead of six. Ridiculous. This is huh, That's better than overdoing it. No, I meant of sugar. I know that's better than you accidentally putting more. Okay. Like you okay. did only You didn't do 12. That, everything else I did good. I just messed up. It's She's like, really I think. It's gonna be great. Uh, now, I need a whip. Do you want a whisk or do you want a fucking whisk? Oh, there it is! Look at that! Look at that! I took this out, Lee, for the batter. Because then we can just dip it. I'm doing that now. Okay. Add milk in small increments until batter becomes smooth. Okay, so add the milk to here, right? Oh, there you are. Yeah, okay. in small increments. So, half a cup slowly. Okay, so. Yeah, those are very good. Those taste like pearls. I think they're about to get better. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's the same base, but paratha. Well, I guess you just put oil and salt instead of scallions. Wait, what, why do you keep saying better? Like, you're doing something different? It needed more oil and more salt. Mm hmm. And now it's crunchier. Listen. I can't say good. Yeah, it does have a nice yeah. Like, off. What? Yeah, try that out, please. Very, very salty. Mmm. Better, right? I don't know why it's not as doughy. Yeah, I made mean, it crispier. They're better at the Chinese takeout because they're like, they got the skill to make them like super nice and thin and like. Uh, this is not smooth. This is lumpy. If it's too thick, add more milk until the batter becomes smooth. Yeah, then keep okay. adding milk. Then. You didn't add any extra yet? No, I have been. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my god. No, huh? You need some milk. Like, he <laughs> needs some milk. <laughs> yeah, the baby's not going to work. She's a little too thick. Yeah, that? Yeah. No. Oh. No, this is for the mixing bowl for the kitchen cocktail. She ain't gonna fit. Are you, are you not confident to do it like this? You're just saying? No, I think I'll, I'll fill it, pull it, make it fall. Spill it. You see how this do it. Oh, what's up, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's making me nervous. Woo! Pressure. That was impressive. Thank you so much. Okay, update you guys. So, scallion pancakes were a hit. Everybody loved them. And now we are doing, well, Aaliyah kind of did all the work, to be honest with you. She made the batter, and then her and Jerry put the um, mozzarella sticks on a stick. I also bought blocks of mozzarella, but we're going to try these and see how it goes. Maybe we'll, we should try a block of this, just for funsies, and see how it ends up. But now the oil is heated, and we're going to try it out. Okay, Zane's going to be, because I'm still making scallion pancakes. <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully it stays on the stick. I'm a little nervous it's gonna stick into the I am dropping that in the oil. Uh -huh. But like <gasps> Look, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Do you think if I switch burners it'll be okay? Right, they're both they're both at medium. Let me switch them for you. Definitely did not do this right. Alright. I see what I did. Easy! Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. oh hey, my hey. God. calm it down, Gabo. <laughs> yeah, Isn't the oil like supposed this. to be bubbling? It's supposed to be at 350. Hi, Bella. Can our thermometer handle that? Yeah, look. 354. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how the stick is going to work out. You just put it in? Just you try, try one. I let's see how it goes. I did the You got to do it. I think I uh, I should have like let it drip. Okay. Oh, well, That's I, fine. I did not. This is first try. Okay, fine. That's fine. Let her rip. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh god, so just like put it in? Yep, so that he's like, don't drop it hard, just do it slowly. Nice, 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 nice. Careful. <laughs> oh, okay. No! okay. Let, let's test that one. Five minutes. Okay. All right. Set a timer for five minutes. Yeah, let's try it out. Why not? Five minutes. Starting now. How about goes? <laughs> okay, yeah, she's oh my good. god, Aaliyah, you are talented. Just Keep it on that side for a little longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get you a paper towel plate and we have to sit them on there, okay? Okay. I like Wait, these plates for this. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, I've never deep fried anything before. It's my first time. You right, done? Put that one in. Hold on. Should I take this one out first? Yeah, go for it. That way you put them all in at the same time. A few. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh, hold on. You can push it in to open it. Yeah. I don't know why I never remember that either. <gasps> oh my god! Amazing, go amazing, 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 amazing. Oh, see this is how we're gonna do it. Please don't Just gentle, it. just gentle and you're good. Yep. Okay. okay. Amazing. Now keep going. Put more, yeah. You could do like four in there. Okay, here we are. Rolling them in sugar. Oh, wow, they look great. No, I've never seen them. The, yes, they look good. The ones that I got in the city were massive, like way bigger, but they're still good. Because I'm not. And then you could put ketchup on mustard on top of it. No. I'm probably gonna ketchup. Can we be on the taste test with me? Sure, bang. Okay. Everybody else will be audio. Here we go, everybody. I've eaten so many scallion pink. You're not gonna get me one. Oh, we're not sharing it? No. Oh, damn. Here, take this one. Should we try ketchup? Here you go. Look at that cheese. Look at the bottom. Oh, God. It's like a churro, kind of. Mm, we did it, guys. A it? churro. Wait, what? So there's a stick through it, so make sure you don't fight the stick. Mm-hmm. We're going to hmm, pull. I'm so confused. It tastes like a cheese stuffed churro, but it's amazing. Mmm. She's gonna try the ketchup. <laughs> I have to try, try it. it. People do ketchup and mustard on it, yeah. What? Yeah. The ones I ate had little pieces of potato on the outside. I don't wanna call that. Yeah, I don't know how you make that though. I mean, it's delicious. It's like confusing me. Right? Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm like, wait. Huh? It's good with the ketchup. I don't, try. I don't understand how the ketchup would make it good. That's what I'm saying. It's like tipping a churro and ketchup. I trust her. <laughs> I mean, obviously the ones that like authentic that I got were better, but this is like a pretty good rendition. I would like our pork buns. I'm impressed how good of a fry you got on this. Like our pork buns were good, mm -hmm. but like the real ones were better. Right. This angle is making me look tiny. What the hell? And I look like a giant forehead, but whatever. Like, oh, I like that. <clears throat> They're very good though. Interesting, right? Something different. Mm. Korean fried chicken. What? You said that? On the podcast? Oh, yeah. And then I said something like, when flies land, but I said, when land flies. <laughs> but I kept going, and she just said, huh? I do that sometimes, too. I like it with the ketchup. Right? It's good. Really? Maybe we put a little too much sugar. Better. Yeah, I think. I think it's dip, a little too sugary. Dipped a little to too much honest. sugar, yeah. Still good. Okay. We're watching a Spongebob movie and I'm so excited. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, better luck next time, buddy! Okay, that movie was still the best movie ever and now they got Duology. Oh. So, Fruity Pebbles, this is churro. Mm hmm Okay. Maple bacon. Maple bacon. Oh. Oreo. S'mores. S'mores and... Samoa. Samoa. I'll skip on the bacon no and the one Samoa, one. to be honest. Oh my god, you guys. That was so much fun. It was so much work, but it was so delicious. I feel like I have food on my face. Sorry. I need to wash my face. We doubled the recipe, and there was still literally so much left. We only made nine of them. We were supposed to make 12, but still, even if we made the rest of them, there would still be so much batter left. We, now we have frozen cheese on a stick, <laughs> but um, I'm not going to make them again because I just can't eat like that all the time, and I'm going away this weekend. If you guys remember, I surprised my mom with a trip for Mother's Day, and so that is... She's approaching, and I'm very excited. I'm going to vlog it for you guys, so I'm going to be away this weekend. I ain't making those things again. Probably eat them in the city, you know? 
imagine. I feel bad getting rid of all this, but honestly, it's just like flour and cornmeal and water. It's nothing like worth keeping. No, 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 no. I'm gonna jump in the cabinet. Look at this, you guys. Is this not the best feeling ever? <gasps> so clean. There was a layer of oil all over everything. Oh, I'm so excited to relax though. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have. Oh, I have a lot of it left actually. Okay. I just usually try to fill this up and then I'll try to like finish it throughout the night if I didn't get to it throughout the day. I just brush my teeth and put my retainer in, by the way. That's why I'm talking funny. Okay, perfect. Yeah, see? The rest of this, at least it fit in my cup because then I'll finish it throughout tonight and tomorrow morning and then I'll fill this back up again. I think I have a newfound love for watching old movies that are nostalgic to me. I'm not like a huge Disney person, to be honest. Like I know a lot of people like to watch like Cinderella and things like that. Like when Zane and I watched Shrek, I loved it. When we watched SpongeBob just now, I loved it. I think it's so funny. I think the humor is so funny when you're an adult too. I wanna watch Monsters Inc. again in Madagascar. Those are gonna be my next one. Oh my goodness, what a long day. I mean, hello, look at me about to go to bed with my silk pillowcase and my silk shirt. Well, I'm gonna get into PJs, but. Oh my God, you guys, I'm sorry. Oh, today's vlog was kind of short. I had so much fun. I definitely didn't pick up the camera that much during cooking because it was super hectic and a lot. The scallion pancakes took me so long, but everybody loved them. They were delicious, but I made so much. So it took me so long to like roll them all out and make them one at a time. So it was hard for me to pick up the camera while I was trying to finish those up. So Aaliyah ended up doing most of the work for the <laughs> Korean fried cheese, but it was really good. I feel like though this happened too when I tried the um real ones at the place in new york city i was already so full from eating so i didn't like thoroughly enjoy it because i wasn't super hungry and today as well like i was snacking on the charcuterie board that i made which i forgot to put out the um crackers i remembered halfway through people eating it and i was like oh shit the crackers so i was eating that and scallion pancakes while i was making them so i was like already so full i did eat two of them though so like you good Alyssa? i don't know about that <laughs> Some vlogs are just gonna be a mess and not too exciting, but that's okay. Weekend surprise trip with my mom is coming up. I'm not even gonna tell you guys, you will see. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see it on my story. So if you don't follow me there already, go follow me because you'll figure stuff out before the vlog comes out, if you wanna know. That's your choice. But I'm gonna start doing some prep for that because I leave in literally a few days. So you guys will see that next and then you'll see the little weekend getaway vlog surprise vlog my mom still does not know i mean she'll know by the time you're watching this but like as of right now she still doesn't know we're doing something really fun and unique that i've always wanted to do and i think she's gonna be really excited also the weather of where we're going was like a little bit iffy and then now it's like super clear and beautiful so i'm just really excited okay i'm gonna stop chatting your ear off now i'm gonna go i'm exhausted i want to go to bed Actually, I also really want to catch up on The Bachelor because I didn't get to watch last week's episode and then it's already going to come on and then I'm going to be stuck behind and I like to watch it live and I didn't get to last week. <laughs> but I'm just like way too tired. I'll turn it on and I'll be sleeping. So don't forget to check out Lily Silk down below. Get you some goodies. Highly recommend. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Tell me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think 